in this video you will learn exactly how to set up your professional portfolio as a creative designer and also how to arrange your designs in your portfolio such that whenever your prospect or your potential client come across your portfolio they will be compelled to want to do business with you all right so without further ado let's go right into the video all right so once again you are welcome and like i said in this video i'll be showing you how to set up a professional portfolio as a creative designer now this video is actually born out of the need a lot of creative designers reach out to me that how do i set up my portfolio how can they set up their portfolio and that is why i'm doing this now if you are new to this channel please do it to hit the subscribe button also turn on your notification bell so that youtube can always notify you whenever i drop new content and just like you will enjoy this video i want this video to also reach thousands of other designers out there struggling to create a professional portfolio without spending a dime okay so do it to hit the like button so that youtube can recommend this video to more people and watch to the end okay watch till the end you don't want to miss any important part any important detail in this video okay so the first thing i would like us to do the first thing we'll be doing is using google drive now one thing i would like you to know about portfolio is the fact that your portfolio isn't isn't only restricted to um google drive okay when we talk about portfolio as a creative designer is basically a collection okay a collection of your creative works okay maybe your best creative works okay that is given to client because whenever um most brands or most clients want to work with you they ask for your portfolio to see some of your previous work so that they will know whether they can work with you and whether you can give them the kind of result the kind of delivery that they want okay so portfolio is basically a collection of your works maybe your best works okay that you um that you are in together and you can always give your portfolio to, um give your client okay so give your client now your portfolio can be a website okay there are different ways there are different um places you can host your portfolio as a creative designer you can have a website portfolio okay in fact the website portfolio seems to be more professional okay now you can also use a pdf you can use google drive like i'm about to show you in this video you can use yeah so many things you can use um a site like main stack that allows you to um host your portfolio host your so many things okay so you can actually use different sites so portfolio is not limited to just google drive you can use beyonce as your portfolio you can even use your instagram and do as your portfolio you can use your um pinterest as your portfolio so it's basically a collection where um a, a collection of your work but then google drive seems to be more professional because that is what is commonly used okay that is what most uh, most people use apart from the fact that google drive is is actually something that is common with everybody like it's known by everyone around the world since it is owned by google and google is a very big brand all right so um without further ado let me just show you the first thing i'm going to do is to go to my google drive okay so i'm just going to um yeah i'm going to just go to my google drive okay so i'm just going to yeah this is my google drive here so i'm going to click on my google drive and this is what i've got all right so this is my google drive i'm in my google drive now okay so it's very simple just if you don't have the uh, app on your phone you can download the app all right so i am uh, logged in on my email okay so i have a couple of emails here i have a couple of email accounts here but then this is my main email account okay now let me show you how my portfolio looks like okay so um this is my portfolio yeah click on portfolio and then look at inside my portfolio i contain different um different sections of de designs okay look at this this is brand identity designs this is flyer designs this is linkedin banner designs this is just logo designs actually very different from brand identity design okay this particular one is just for logo designs these are my client reviews so i just thought okay i need to also put my client review in my portfolio 
all right then this is social media designs okay then this is youtube thumbnail designs okay that's uh, you mostly see my youtube thumbnail there okay and um they are amazing so i thought i can hold them in my portfolio now i would like to say this that when a client demand for your portfolio you don't just share the link to all of this you don't you, you don't just share the link to, i'm going to show you how to share a link how to share a google drive link and how to make it um, open for people that don't know for your client to assess without having to request from you all right so like i said you don't share the link to all of this you share the link to the kind of design that your client wants for example probably my client reached out to me that he or she wants a social media design i can just come okay depending on the brand so i, I, I will just come here look under my social media designs now there are these are different um folders for different kinds of brand this is logistic and shopping brand this is media agency real estate brand skin tech um skincare cosmetics tech brand travel brand um virtual event brand, and all of that okay you, you understand what i'm trying to say so for example let's say the brand i'm trying to work with or that wants to work with me and is demanding for my portfolio is a cryptocurrency brand all i have to do is just to come here I have, I have a couple of designs here so all i have to do is just to just share the link to this i can just tap on this look at this to share link please follow me carefully look at the share link let me let me show you look at this okay so to share link just tap on this three dots okay then you can now scroll down okay look at it you can now scroll down then look at um copy link okay you can copy your link and share with your client but then let me show you something about this manage coupon links when you create a folder on google drive automatically no one has, no one is able to access it except you and that is why you will not probably in your own you are not going to see this icon look at this human icon let me show what i'm talking about this icon this particular icon you are not going to see it in your own if you create a new folder until and what that means is that if you sh even if you copy the link and you share it with your prospect or with anyone once they click on the link they would need a request from you before they can access the content in the folder you understand so you are doing that we have to accept their uh, request and um yeah which is very amazing too but then if you want people to be able to especially if you are hosting your portfolio let's say you are putting your portfolio on 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 um maybe alongside with your content on linkedin on facebook instagram all of these places then you may not always be active to grant everyone their request so you can just tap on what i just click then click on change then change it to anyone with the link okay most likely before this is what you are going to see let me just tap on it to show what i'm trying to say so that you will see that um based on what i've done now look at you can see that that human icon is no longer here you can see that that icon is no longer here why because if i decide to share this link now with anyone they are not going to be able to access it until i accept their request but then that is not what i want because i may not always be available to um yeah so just click on this tap on this then click on anyone with the link and you can also copy your link from here look at it pay attention my cursor you can also copy your link from here look at it link copy to clipboard now i can share my link with anyone okay so basically this is just for social media designs right so if my client um um the first thing i have to decide when, when my client asks for my portfolio is what kind of design does my client want okay what kind of what um kind of design does my client want and if it's social media designs i go ahead and also confirm what is the niche what is is our niche so that i can share portfolio because i don't want to stress myself uh, stress my client with having to check out through the folder just to get what she needs no it doesn't really make sense this is for flyer designs okay so let's say that my client wants flyer designs i can easily share okay i can easily share this link okay this is for linkedin banner designs all right so these are just for different kind of designs these are my client reviews okay just few of them all right so um that is basically my portfolio now to create a folder let me just show you quickly how to create a folder on google drive click on plus okay then um look at folder look at upload look at scan look at all of this i'm not concerned about them in this video all right i just need to show you how to create your portfolio now if i click on upload here what it means is that it's going to upload my file into this particular um folder it's, it's not going to upload my um uh, my file into my portfolio because you know you you want your portfolio to be organized right yeah 
okay so click on plus first of all create a folder before you start uploading create the folder then you can name the folder portfolio right you can name the folder portfolio or whatever you want to name it portfolio portfolio or, or anything okay then after doing that you can click on done and then folder created okay let me just scroll down let me scroll down let's look for the folder okay where's portfolio all right this is what i just created look at it you can see what i'm talking about look at this look at the icon here the icon is not here that is what you um you also um experience okay so you have to eventually allow people to be able to assess it by following the process i showed so now tap on this and the folder is empty right this folder is empty you can now click on plus and begin to group if you want to group just like i grouped mine too so you can now click on you can now you can now create another folder again and then try to eat maybe flyers flyers for example flyers it all depends on what you want to do okay so there is no one size fits all for this so it depends on what you want now done and the folder is created now i can now click on this then click on plus let me now upload look at now click on upload tap on upload and let me upload my flyers okay let me upload my flyer so i can now um let me let me just upload an image so um okay so let me upload this for example so um this image preparing to upload so you can see now that it's uploading already and then it's going to be uploaded in a matter of seconds okay so you can also upload many files at once uh, at once okay sorry at once so just tap and um there should be an okay look at select all or you can just select the few you feel you need okay but then i don't want to select all my point is just that uh, which i know you've gotten is that you can select more than one actually you can actually select more than one and um upload more than one at the same time okay so um that is that about that basically okay so you can see now that our um design is uploaded let's open it and see so you can see my design here you can see the design here so my client can always have access to this so long as i allow my client to be able to see it by changing the manage people and link so there's an important part of the video that i missed okay so this is coming more like an interlude all right and that is how to arrange your designs in your portfolio okay so one thing about um google drive that you need to know about is that when you upload your designs it's just places them randomly not really randomly but according to their numbers okay so how many times it may not appear the way you want them for example now if i upload the design now you may want it to be here probably you want the, the design to be the first one here maybe because of the way it's very very amazing and you want your client to for to first um come across that because first impressions do matter so when it comes to your portfolio how good your design is will determine if your clients want if your prospect rather want to check for more okay to make a wise decision so one way to do that is very simple now the way um google drive arranges the way google drive arranges um um content in your folder is usually numerical so if i want this particular if, for example now let me show you something if i want this particular design to be the first year all i have to do is just to i'm talking about how to arrange it now right you just to come here rename click on rename okay then add one add one so just click on one this is one then done click on done you can see that look at the part the design has come here you can see how amazing it is so to rearrange it you see you, you cannot see why i use one year i use two year you can see that the simple reason is because i wanted to arrange it to my taste so that when my clients see um come across my portfolio they'll be interested now if i want to send it away it's very simple too if i want to um change the location and probably move it to the last i can just yeah remove that very simple then click on done and you can see it's back to where it, it used to be the same thing applies to this if i want to move this design to the to the first it is actually very simple just click on rename click on rename then you can add one year but then you know, if you add one year it has become twelve thousand. i think i, I don't even know the, the the right word to call this but it has become a very long figure which will not be at the first so to actually 
work on that let me put iphone uh, not really iphone but underscore okay so i'm going to put underscore all right so that the way google drive will interpret it is going to be different now i will now click on done you can see it now guys you can see it is now the first but then let me remove the underscore so that you will, you will understand what i'm trying to show you earlier better that is it's not actually going to be the first again let me move it there click on this then click on done you can see what i'm trying to say you can see look at it it is back to this place so it is actually very simple to rearrange content this same thing even applies to folders okay let me go click on back this same thing applies to folder if i want this particular folder my client reviews to be the first i'll just click on rename very very simple just click on rename then find a way to add one yeah let me just add one then click on done and guys look at it it is now the first year so my client is going to see this as first so so that your uh, portfolio will not look will look more organized you can decide to add um one dot to just make it look like probably you are trying to um arrange it okay so yeah look at you can see it now i can decide to make this two dot let's say i want this to come can say oh i can even make it one point something you know one point something is before two okay so if i if i say one point one for example if i if i decide to use zero point one zero point one will come before this okay let me just show what i'm trying to say let's say i'm using zero point one okay so click on done you can see what you see what i'm talking about now you can see it guys why because zero point one is lesser than one okay so but then um i don't want it to be 0 0.1 okay <laughs> i don't want it to be 0 0.1 so i'll just change it back and then that is that so this is the simple way to rearrange elements rearrange um content of your folder rearrange folders in your google drive so basically this is just a simple way to create your portfolio on google drive i believe you've learned something if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and also share this video with at least one designer because a lot of designers are actually struggling with creating a portfolio like i said portfolio is not limited to google drive okay it is not limited to google drive at all thank you for coming i'm going to see you in the next video stay subscribe and stick around